in a variety of ways. Um, I would say many of us serve on different committees within the chamber because we recognize that, you know, with our the number of employees we have, the experiences and the fact that we work across the globe, we have um, opportunity to bring that perspective to Green Bay, whether it's the small business community, the economic development committee, um, you know, any opportunity where we can welcome new businesses, um, welcome new individuals. But just over the last, um, you know, 20, 30 years, Schreiber has always been involved in the Green Bay Chamber um, because we want and we see the chamber as a resource and um, to continue to allow that resource to be relevant. Event, um, to meet the needs of those that stay in the community and the businesses that are looking to thrive in the community, um, we've just been able to get involved in a variety of ways. So, you know, often when I talk to individuals who are looking to join Schreiber, um, you know, potential candidates, they always say, what is it about Schreiber that you absolutely love? And, you know, without hesitation, I always say our caring spirit and our caring spirit. It really goes across three different segments. Right. We care about our employees. We care about our customers and we care about our community. And so the caring part of our community is where the chamber comes in. Um, we, we want to be part of um, the decisions that are made in the community that we exist in. We want to pour resources into the chamber and also other organizations and give others opportunities to teach us while we also teach them. So, you know, that caring part um, is, again, where the chamber comes in. There are a few things that excite me about the chamber. Um, you know, the first thing that comes to mind is, you know, recently recognizing that when people move to the community, um, we need to do more than just provide them reading material. Um, we need to connect them with individuals um, that, you know, they can get um, detailed information from, um, learn from their experiences. So I've appreciated some of the more hands-on programs that the chambers put in place to connect with people who move to the community. Um, the other thing that I think is special and, and recently that I've been really impressed with in regards to the chamber is um, recognizing that our community is becoming more diverse and um, we need to ensure that the resources, the programming, the people we even hire for the chamber or how we think about what support looks like needs to meet the needs of the diversity that we continue to see in our community. So I would say, um, you know, those are the two things that I've appreciated and realized the most is the hands-on approach as well as recognizing that um, how we support should change and evolve as the community changes and evolves. Have appreciated how um, the family, what comes with the family when they move to this community and how we support families through other jobs, how we connect and um, you know promote networking. Um, as we look at what things are available to children, um, you know, ways in which we can collaborate with schools, but recognizing that um, the, the work of the chamber is beyond business. It's, it's, it's about the people that work in the businesses and what they need to be successful. When I think of community, I, I think of collaboration. And I, I think that's what the chamber um, cultivates is collaboration um, within businesses, you know, bringing different people to events or to committees or even to problem solving circles. And I, I think that um, if anything, you know, what we've learned in the last year is the power of collaboration. And um, I, th I think the chamber has been a big part of that, um, bringing the right folks to the table and, um, you know, understanding the best way to leverage their expertise and resources so that we can move forward as, as we continue to encounter and solve challenges together.